today you hear so many people talk about how bad the economy is and how hard it is to find jobs. I'd like you to meet Kevin Toombs, who's let nothing stop him. Not the economy, not nothing. I'm with Kevin Toombs, who's got something uh, pretty unique going on here in Pendleton, Indiana. Hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm fine. You've got a, a fruit market I've been watching here for for some time, and every time I come by here, you guys are just totally busy. How long have you been doing this? It, uh, ever since I was a little kid. My parents, uh, uh, my mother especially, raised a lot of, lot of produce, and done the farmer's markets, and ever since I was probably five, seven years old, and uh, swore I'd never pick no beans, but here I am. <laughs> and here you are. All right. Uh, how long have you been here at Pendleton? How, you done it for a couple of years? This uh, your first? No, this is my first year here on this corner, and uh, I'm from Newcastle, grew up here in Pendleton. Um, I went to graduate here at Pendleton, and the people, uh, the people here have been really great. Uh, I, I, I've got to leave this stand open on a Sunday, and it's kind of the neatest part of it. The people here are so great. I, I, I left it open, just left a simple little note saying just take only what you need and, uh, and pay me back, you know, this week. And pe ironically, people have just, they've all, seem like they've all come back. You know, I noticed that. I was down here last <laughs> Sunday and, and everything's setting out. Uh, nothing closed up. Right. Of course, you're not here. Right. I'm thinking, this is just absolutely fantastic. It's, it's a little scary, um, especially for trying to first, first trying it. But um, people, people have been really nice, really nice. I, I'm surprised. It's uh, people's came back. I find money under the boxes, you know, and, <laughs> and under watermelons and cantaloupe yeah. and you name it. It's, uh, it's been there. And there was money there again today. Um, no kidding. I, I uh, closed at 6 uh, yesterday evening, and my mother had a wreck, so I had to close down a little bit early. Oh, wow. Okay. But uh, she had a wreck, and, and so I closed down early, and, and there was a lot of people, evidently, that was here. So I was finding money in baskets, and I found some under some boxes, um, and nobody uh, nobody seems to, uh, to bother it here. It's a nice town. It's a, it's a really a nice town. You know, a lot of people, you know, you, you see a lot of reports here, a lot of people, the economy, the, you know, it's still kind of in the dumps. They can't find jobs. Right. But here you are out here just getting it done. Now, what would you say to people who say, I, I can't find something to do? Well, I, I think that if, uh, and, and it's just my opinion, but I think that if, uh, people can't find something to do. They really don't want much to do at all, really. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I actually uh, lost my farm through a divorce, but I've got arrangements with, with her still that I'm growing on that farm. Um, and then what I can't grow, I, I, the, the, I get from the Amish. And uh, so everything here is, is local stuff, uh, except for the peaches, of course. People ask me for peaches, so I try to get them what they need. Uh, I've got a good Amish contact that uh, makes a, a run to Georgia once a week, and he knows the people that he buys from uh, as far as the peaches are, are concerned. And so I'm comfortable buying from, from the Amish, even though they come from Georgia, uh, uh, reliable people, and he yeah. buys right straight from the farm. It's not like I get it from uh, like a hub in, in uh, Cincinnati. or may come from California or, <laughs> or, or Chile. Um, you know, again, try to have great stuff, and people realize it. People realize it. Yeah. Now, watermelons. Watermelons. You you can thump on tell for ripe. Okay, watermelons. Um, I've got a great friend. He's about 90 years old, and uh, he has raised acres and acres and acres of watermelon. And says, so I asked him one day. I said, Boots, tell me, how how can you tell if the watermelon's good? And he said, he told me he's been raising them for 50 years and he raises 70 to 90 acres of, of just watermelon. And he said, he doesn't know. He said, all this thumping around and bumping and shaking, he said, it's just not, he said, there's nothing to it. So I was kind of disappointed, but <laughs> kind just, of uh, happy in, a, in another so way. What's he do to tell, just cut them open? He waits, he waits and, and uh, he'll go out and on these same plantings, uh, people stagger plantings, of course, but his first, his first planting, when he's ready, to, he thinks they're ready, 
he'll cut 10 of them open and see how they are. If they're fresh, then he leaves them go. He leaves them, he leaves them on the vine. Uh, they call that fresh when they're too early. Um, that's perfect for shipping um, to, to, to groceries because they're hard. They're hard and they last a lot, a lot longer. But they don't have the flavor uh, that they do if they're on the vine and they ripen on the vine. Uh, that's why our cantaloupe, uh, they, they do so well here. Now people want to find you. A lot of people are here know it because I see cars just come, people come home from work to pile in here. Sure. But you're kind of on the north side of Pendleton. Right. Right on State Road 67 as you enter Pendleton, Indiana, aren't you? Yes. yes. And uh, you're right near all oh, the, the Swifty uh, service station yeah, right, right down here. So they need to, your hours are again, you're open. I, my hours are, usually I'm here by about 8 o'clock. Um, if somebody gets here at 7 o'clock, they, they go ahead and help themselves. <laughs> Uh, and just hopefully they leave me some money under a box. <laughs> okay. Uh, usually, and then I, I try to take off out of here normally at about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And it's uh, Monday through? Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. Sunday okay. uh, is off limits. I, I try not to do anything on a Sunday, uh, not unless I just had to for some reason, but I like to have at least one day off anyway. All right, Kevin. We thank you a lot. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day, sir. Thank you. You too. Okay. Bye. So next time you're through Pelton, stop and see Kevin. Great person, a lot of fun to talk to, and he has some great stuff out there for you too.